Hi, so you have a great new painting and you want to use it for your website or social media. Of course you need a good photo. You can hire a professional photographer and he does the job for you. Or you can do it yourself and save some money. First of all, welcome to my channel. My name is Wim and I'm a professional artist from Belgium. Nice to meet you. One of the big difficulties in photographing your artwork is that you have to deal with reflections on the painting. Well, in this video, you are going to learn how to improve yourself in taking photos of your artwork without any lights. So you can turn this crappy image into this great image. Without further ado, let's get started. Here's your free light bulb. And, and man, this source has some serious power. And best of all, it's free. The best price you can get. The sun is shining in my garage this time of the day and lights up just a small part of it. In this way, my garage acts like a black box. Of course, this method only works when there is enough sunlight. This is the only downside. Make sure your painting is placed on a dark surface, so you can get any reflections coming out from the floor. I'm using a black matte uh, cardboard and costs around 5 or 6 dollars per piece. I'm shooting my pictures with a bulky full frame Nikon with a 60mm macro lens. This gives me the best results, but of course you can get also great results with an iPhone or any other smartphone. A tripod is a must when you're photographing your artwork, so you have full control of the composition. This small color checker makes it possible to adjust your white balance afterwards in post. So make sure this little friend is near your painting when you're photographing. Oh, and make sure your painting isn't framed when you're photographing. Otherwise you can get some nasty shadows on the painting. Use the bracketing method. Take some pictures underexposed and step by step you are going to overexposed in this way, you can choose afterwards the best results of the image. Shoot your paintings in RAW or RAW and JPEG. This setting allows you to get great results afterwards in post. JPEG is great for fast results but has some limitations in the bright lights and dark shadows. Here we have the final result of the photo. Perfect color reproduction and no reflections at all. I hope you enjoyed this video and give this solution a try. If it worked out for you, please let me know in the comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like more of these videos. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next one.